Uh, well, I figured you'd probably make me watch uh, Hunter x Hunter since it's on Netflix now. Oh, it is? 2011? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I just saw it last it's night. It's on Netflix. Hype confirmed. Hype. Hype. Dude, I didn't Hype. know it was that popular. Forget about the podcast. Who cares about you idiots? <laughs> Who knew it was on? Let's Who go knew. watch Hunter x Hunter, guys. Guys. Let's man. go fly your kite. Let's get down to business. No. To defeat the Huns. Did you give me daughters when I asked for sons? The saddest bunch I've ever met. <laughs> you can bet before do. Somehow I'll, I'll make, make a man out, out of, of you. you. Ouch, ouch, blue. No! Oh boy. <laughs> yes, blue, yes. TK Podcast. We are your host, Kings Hockey, Rora Noah Trey, uh, and Blue Fire Crash Down. Yo! <laughs> Alright, and today is a very happy day. Battle of the Gods premiere tonight. Woo! Yes, yeah, celebrate. Even if you guys won't celebrate with me, I'll get Egg Boy to celebrate with me. <laughs> <laughs> Or somebody that cares. I'll celebrate with the DBZ fanatics tonight, not the DBZ abridged fanatics that are on this podcast. <laughs> I was actually watching that last night. No. Not but calm down. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that is pretty funny, but no. You gotta watch the original to appreciate it. But they follow the cell storyline now. Okay, and in other <laughs> anime news, we have um, Studio Ghibli shutting down. Everybody is sad and in mourning. Yeah, I'm actually bummed about that. No, <laughs> Shut no, up, <laughs> Trey. <laughs> Trey needs a life. Trey needs to see Princess Mononoke. Yes. Yeah, that's your homework. It, it, you need to go watch Princess Mononoke and Spirit It Away and then come back and say how much you love Studio Ghibli and how sad you are. Is she hot? <laughs> It'll be like finding out that Ace died and not knowing anything about Ace and then you actually watch the whole series and then you find out Ace died. <laughs> That'll be how sad you are, almost. And you'll hear this grandfather clock in your head. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, other anime important news is Hunter x Hunter is on Netflix. Yay, that's important. Shut up. I don't care if you don't think it is. It's no, awesome. I have to watch it. I'm sorry. I'm <laughs> obligated now. <laughs> I'm obligated now. And it's got like several, several seasons, I think, too. It's like five seasons on there. Yes. That's okay, cool. but skip. Skip, um, the, what is it called? Green Island Arc. <laughs> yeah, skip Green Island. Oh, my goodness. That arc is such a filler arc. Yes, it's pretty close to a filler arc. If not, I mean, you won't, as far as I know, you won't really regret skipping it. Yep. All you need to know is that they fight this one guy in a dodgeball battle. Yep. Huh. That's all you need to know. I will make note of that. Stop. Oh, then get down. <laughs> all right. Any other important anime news? Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's
let's move on to the newest chapter of One Piece, chapter 755, A Man's World. He's a man, such a man, he's a real, a real man's man. Okay. So, what are y'all thinking about this cover? Well, I guess it sort of like deviates from uh, what we thought. We thought it was like going to be a simple plot and a simple solution, and it looks like it could be something else. Maybe the town gets like it gets wiped out, so they're going to try to like push it along. That's and bad. In <laughs> that means it's going to be delayed by random stories. Yeah. And so yeah, the police dog is like, I failed my duties. And the cat is crying. Cat, catfish. Cat dog, cat dog. <laughs> cat dog. Yeah, Jimbe sucks. Let's move on. <laughs> okay, so uh, I guess Blue Fire, you can take the first page. Alrighty. Further beneath the trading port, the scrap heap. Steady. Uh, take your turns. Those painted ladders are fragile. Thanks a ton, Samurai. Jeez, it's so crooked I can barely climb it. Stop for your impertinent mule. And it's like, uh, jip, jip. I guess that's the, uh, drawn bird. It's like, flap, flap, flap. It's like, homie, we can get out of this pit. Okay. Cool, and I'll take this one. Okay, it wasn't just because it has ton titles. Okay, maybe it was. Okay. Stupid. <laughs> 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 Inside the Smile Factory. The little people are rioting! Quell the resistance! Shoot them! Um, hello? Before they call you? <laughs> <laughs> I was getting into it! <laughs> oh, no, I'm just depressed. Quell the resistance! Shoot them! Black! Oof! Wait, wait, if you leave, Princess... Oh, yeah, and this is in the Smile Factory, and the guards are fighting the Tentatas. They're like, wait, wait, if you leave, Princess Mancherry's disease will never be cured. And the Tentatas like, what? We can't have that. Don't listen to him, chow. With our ears plugged, we can't hear your lies anymore. <laughs> then he does, like, a Mario on Bowser thing. Tentata swing! Gah! And that... They're, dude, okay, they're legit. The Tontadas are the best characters ever. Okay, Trey, take it away. Alrighty. Alright. And then, they're like, the girl's like, Where's the young master? And then Tontadas like, Not so fast! Tell Hammer! And then the guy makes a noise like, Hubbub! Yeah, Hubbub. And then he's like, Quickly, everyone! Turn the sales one before they can call for backup. And they're all like, he? Because they all got their ears plugged, so they're just like lifting their hands to their ears like it. Eh? He's like, your earplugs! And then the big old guy comes in, he's like, is the princess safe, princess? <laughs> okay, blue fire? Uh... Look, Muggy! There's Mancherry's quarantine room! But there's a sign that says keep out! Keep out? Uh, why didn't you tell me that earlier? I was going too fast to stop. Ah! Muggy broke through the forbidden door! I'm so disappointed! <laughs> I'm so disappointed in you! I said not to go through the door! And, uh, he, like, he's getting up off the uh, ground. He's like, Mom, ah! And he's like, it's empty! It's just a storeroom! Okay. Um. Is the door unlocked yet? We've almost got it! Heep ho! Smile factory, front entrance. And then, it, uh, you see a ka -check. And then, <laughs> it zooms in on Frankie's face. Frankie here! Hmm? He was born with good hearing. <laughs> Listen up, swimmer boy, cop. Maybe this ain't none of your business, huh? 
but in the alley to the right back there, I saw a weak old grandma who needed help. And, uh, and said, <laughs> oh yeah, sucks to be her. And then, Trey? And then it's like, don't turn the handle and open. Stop right there, you little shrimps. It's better not be outside. Where do you think you're going? Small factory manager, Kareem, age 20, female. Did that say you get the picture? She looks like a huge Ghostbuster. Looks like <laughs> also rocking the, dude, what was that singer of um, that song, Skater Boy? You know, the girl that wore the ties? I can't remember her name. I don't know. So, so she's rocking the tie. She's like, you've always been the slaves of a small factory. He's like, she's like, Oh, yeah, he's like, no, you squalling just because you... Fi- oh, she, yeah, that's her. She's like, no, you squalling just because you finally figured it out. I'm like, oh, no, it's the manager. Watch out for a suction machine. <laughs> it is like... Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> hurry, open the door. It's already unlocked. <laughs> and they're like, they're getting stuck through the like, ah... Uh, and the other one was like, hang on, just get the door. And he's like, what? Why do they sound like old ladies? <laughs> <laughs> old smoking, like, like smoking for 50 years, old ladies. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> You're about to kill Blue Fire, eh? <laughs> Or either Blue is tickling him. Oh, no, it's in Blue. It's fucking terrible. It's terrible. What? He just made himself. He just made himself so unenthused. busting into the factory. And then the Tuntados are like, Oh, it's a robot toy! A tough-looking robot is here to save us! Is everyone okay? And, as you say, inhale. Or, uh, inhale, I guess that's someone's name. Mm-hmm. She goes, They're all here! This big human is flying! He's on my side! Um, human? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, and mo- moving over to the other panel, we see uh, Big Bertha again, or whatever her name was. She says, we- You're Cyborg Frankie from the Straw Hats, aren't you? You're a convict with a single star, if I recall. It's a good thing you're still standing. And then, uh, because, and she, she says, it says, da, 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 because now I can see myself, huh? And then I thought I was like, Wildland's hugging her. Does he love? It? Does he love the factory manager? And she says, "What? What are you doing, big boy? Get off!" <laughs> and uh, the little baby uh, guy, whatever his name is, with the pacifier says, "That son of a whore tricked me. There ain't no old ladies that need help, which is a relief. Don't get me wrong." And then Trey. <laughs> this yeah, the next page is- ever. We have, um, we have her like, I'm getting tired of you slamming Jim at me with all those darn suplexes. What's the big deal? And then we have Frankie's like, you trying to dig up a hot spring with the back of my head? And then the raging guy comes in, he's like, huh? What, what are you? Then the guy's like, time to die. Can't hear And Frankie's like, Frankie! <laughs> And then he like does a suplex and rams the lady's head on top of the big baby boy, and they just 
just hit each other, and, like, the shark's face is, and one of the, like, little Tocados, like, oh. Oh, uh, yeah, Trey, you sound a little muffled for some reason. Me? Does he sound like that to you, Blue Fire? Yeah, just a bit. Like, you sound uh, like, like just a bit. I'll your phone. <laughs> I'm, like, speaking next to my phone. <laughs> What, it was on like speaker phone or something? Headphones. Oh, headphones, that might be why it's muffled. <clears throat> no, muffling is bad. Yeah. Well, uh, it, it, it's not that bad, but anyways. I just noticed it. Okay, so, blue fire. Alright. So, yeah, <laughs> after uh, Frankie suplexed his uh, queen into uh, Mr. Pink, um, hello? Yep. Alright. Yeah, that's on top of the like, oh no, look at the manager. And, um, she's like, that's hurt, darn it. How dare you use my head like a hammer? You can't treat me like this. I'm the, I'm the factory manager. I'm the boss. I have no, I have the right to pass sentence on you. You're sentenced to death. I'll call you to pieces. Oh no, run away, Fallen! She if she flips, no one can get her back under control. But I'll use my suction machine to pull out your guts. <laughs> to pull your guts out of here and then Frankie uh grabs her by the thigh and kisses her. <laughs> 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 and the potters are like, What? <laughs> Frankie just moves the factory manager. Alright. And then um we have a picture, a close-up of <laughs> of that uh, ugly, crazy chick, and she she goes blink, and she's looking at him with like googly eyes, and she said uh, she has like little exclamation points because she's so, so shocked. And <clears throat> Frankie says, "On your feet, on your feet, swim trunks," and then she says, "Oh, he stole, he he stole my lips." Excuse me. What's the big idea? Why would you do that? You'd better own up and be my boyfriend, you brute. And uh, then in like a little bubble of like in the, I guess that's the Tonatada, they say, the manager's acting more feminine. And um, the big baby guy says, don't blame him, manager. It's your fault for getting involved. And she says, but Senor Pink. Oh, that's his name. <laughs> And he says, when a woman tries to interfere, interfere in a fight between men, how else should she be silenced? And she goes, ah! <laughs> <laughs> And uh, Frankie says, ow, a young lady getting all worked up over a measly lip, little kiss or two. And he says, you said it. Falling in love with a kid. And then I'm going to step away for a second while Blue Fire does this next page, or Trey does this next page, and Blue Fire. And, and then Frankie and Pink just, just like, start speaking together, like, how to get a nasty hangover. She's like, oh, swoon. And all the girls in the room are like, hey, they're so hard-boiled. Then you're Frankie. <laughs> and then he's like, I ain't letting you destroy the factory. And then Frankie's like, if you're a man, a man's prove it with your fist. And then Tantana's like, a real man's fight is about to begin. Ah. And then the guy's like, diaper bombs. And Frankie's like, nipper, special, ow. Oh, Lord. <clears throat> okay, I guess I'm on the next page. It's a um, new royal plateau, Peter statue. And I, was, I guess this is uh, Pinkus talking, and he's like, It's hard to hear you, Rebecca's group, by the way. And Zoro's like, Don't be so humble. It was only be, it was only possible because of you. And Pinkus like, Don't get cocky. Your little band of mis miscreants will never escape. This country alive. And, yeah, you just see, um, it's like an impact on the top of the uh, statue from Frank, and not Frankie, Zoro and uh, Peter clashing. Yeah, hello? Mushy, mushy. Yeah. So, uh, hot 
Hockey. Hockey in Canada? <laughs> Hello? Alright. About to serenade everybody with my songs. <laughs> <laughs> well, glad I interrupted that. <laughs> oh, Lord, what page are we on here? It's almost there. One more push. Yep. Almost there. One more push. The battle is raging. The no, this is uh the everybody flying on little Tontada things, the Tontada Airlines, which is Bartolomeo, Robin, and Rebecca. And Robin says the battle is raging ahead. Be careful where you land. And then you hear Arr! um from Rebecca's cape and. It looks like, it, oh, it's a ring, ring, like a fun ring, click, click. What? Well, I was saying it was a, um, Ding Ding Mushy. Yeah. And then, uh, so, I guess, I think that's Leo. Yeah, okay. He says, hello, well, this is Leo. <laughs> and, uh, Robin says, keep it together, rooster. And Bartolome is like, whoa, well, I still got the chills, man. Mr. Zolo was so red, and his face is still, like, melding. And, uh, you see on, on Rebecca's shoulder again, Leo says, Way to go, Moji. Our people have been freed. But we got a big problem, Leo. Princess Manchel is not in the factory. Huh? The poor <laughs> girl. I just know she's locked up somewhere, crying her eyes out for, dear, for her dear Moji. I'm starting to wonder if she might be in the palace. Okay. Then the next page we have the former Royal Plateau. And then they're like, scale the old Royal Plateau. <laughs> See King Riku and God Usopp. And Usopp's like, eh, you're kidding me. They're all coming after us. And then he's like, come on, King Dude, we got to scram. And then um, God is like, Father, the Tantanas from the factory have called with the report. They say there's no sign of Princess Mesh, Mesh Cherry. And the father's just like, what? Yeah? And Usopp's like, what are you talking about? It's I King who was trying to kill us. Hello? This is me. <laughs> and then Scarlet's like, if the entire country is after us, then where do you suggest we run? Usopp's just like, um, 
And she's like, <laughs> the people of our land know the truth of the past now. They will not harm father. I'm sure of it. And then Lewis, I was like, what about me? <laughs> In the hiding mansion, I can only imagine it's within the palace. Use your powers to search every inch of the viola. Yes, father. Surely even Del Flamingo would not kill Mancherry. He must desire her power. Although at this point, it is likely us that need it most. And then you sh they uh, shoot over to the palace and it's like, Palace, a certain room. <laughs> <laughs> and then as uh, you hear someone cry, she's like, yeah! And then uh, just as one of Del Flamingo's men is like, it is your food. <laughs> <laughs> and then still I like, Smith, where, where? I want to go back to Green Bay. Come and save me. And I suppose this is Mancherry. She's like, Leo. And then they show an uh, image of uh, Leo. Boom. Leo does not approve. To be continued. Boom. <laughs> Yeah, dude, those tears, though. Those tears. Dude, Leo sounds hair. like a good name for a baby, too, though. Blue Fire does not approve the long, of long hair that can get stuck in windows. Not if it's not yours. <laughs> not if it's not yours. Not if it's not a natural grown. Well, I think she's been in that jail cell long enough to grow it all naturally. <laughs> yeah. But she looks like, okay, in that image, like, to the right of her, where it shows her hair, she looks like Blue, yep. <laughs> she looks That's like funny. Blue Fire's dog, yep. She probably, she probably Ooh. barks like a sheep, too, or a, <laughs> or a goat. <laughs> yep. Master, feed me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, wah, Leo, wah. <laughs> <laughs> Whew, so what did y'all think of this chapter? Well, I'm wondering uh, what type of power she must have. Does she have, like, conquer? She can't... Would it be conquer a maybe? Why is that? Or... Well, I mean, if he's... They're saying that, um... Design her power... Design, yeah. Yeah, but I don't really see how conquer a would really help them in this situation. So I don't know what kind of power she might have. It could be... Well, no, it can't even be that. I was thinking it could be, um... One of the uh, ancient weapons, like with uh, the princess from Fishman Island, but I don't think he would do that either. Yeah. I don't think he'd like, use the same. So I am curious as to what her power might be. Yeah, I mean, we just got through that. Like, he's been spreading out the you know powers pretty much, like the three weapons pretty much, right? Right. Like, the Alabaster one was pretty early, and then Fishman Island, you know, that's supposed to be, like, almost halfway mark, if not exactly, and then, like, I bet we'll get the other one later, but I don't know. But, yeah, I think, do you think it could be, like, the secret to the Smile Factory or something? Yeah, yeah that could probably be it, too. Uh, maybe she has a, a food ability that, like, helps with the production of Smile. Right. Yeah, what about the rest of the chapter? What was y'all's favorite part? <laughs> Frankie was definitely awesome that chapter. <laughs> yeah. The nipple light special was a little disturbing though. <laughs> that was awesome. They're like, we're about to see a true man's battle. He's just like, diaper first. He's like, nipple or light? <laughs> oh, I left right on that part. Dang it. Yeah, that was pretty awesome. But yeah, yeah, that was awesome. I just ran up and kissed her. <laughs> yeah. It was like, the men are talking right now. Christmas L boy? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And the Twin Tiles were awesome in that chapter, too. They were freaking hilarious. They're yeah. like, you know, like, th uh, just the gullible, like, little gimmick that they have where they weren't going to run th They weren't going to go past the door because it said don't go past it, but the dude ran past it. <laughs> and then they found out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's like <laughs> That was awesome. And one of the things I like about them especially is that if we let's just say if everything that Don Flamingo and them were saying was the truth, and like Lucy and them were lying, they'd still have this revolt just because Lucy then told them what they wanted to hear. Yeah. Like they're so gullible. <laughs> they're awesome. Yeah, and they put the earplugs in. That was like, <laughs> yes, that was awesome. 
Yeah, this chapter felt like one piece to the max. It was awesome. Yeah. It wasn't it was it had a fair amount of action but it had a lot of gags, which is like what makes one piece really enjoyable. Yeah. It was it was that I wasn't even mad about like no, you know No, no development. <laughs> yeah. I mean there was a little bit of movement though, you know, I, Frankie finally I guess was about to finally beat that guy, the Senior Pink, and yeah, he's been getting on my nerves. <laughs> yeah, and he's about to, you know, the Smile Factory's open finally, and pretty much we found out that all that's in there is a bunch of scrubs. So, and then you know we got the um, thing that the princess is finally revealed, or whatever. So I guess there's a little bit, but not much movement. Right. And I'm not the only one who kind of thinks of the Smurfs when I see the Tentatus. Yeah, yeah it's, especially, it's, it's, in this, yeah. especially in this chapter with the uh, chick in the vacuum. She's like trying to scoop them all up to keep them their slaves. Yeah. If they think of her Gargamel and the Smurfs. Gargamel. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <Mom, yeah. laughs> And um, they're red. But, but um, with that being said, we can move on to our anime review. So what are we doing this week, Blue Fire? What, what do you got for us? Well, uh, we did uh, the 2003 version of our Full Metal Alchemist. So I figured we'd do our Brotherhood to keep it going. Brotherhood. And, uh, yeah, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. And yeah, this one stays true to the manga, so it, it's really good. Uh, and it still follows the same storyline, basically, you follow the Elder Brothers in their pursuit of a Philosopher's Stone. And uh, yeah, pretty much, uh, if you, like we said last week, if you have no interest in like fanfics and, you know, possibly like what could be instead of what is, mm. you're better off uh, not watching the original. This is the one that you want to watch. <laughs> um, the characters are interesting. The plot's pretty interesting. Uh, the pacing is it good. It's funny because, yeah, and like I guess you never really uh, take it at uh, at its for its value. Like they even like sort of hint at the plot within like the first few episodes with that ice alchemist. Mm -hmm. You know, they all deal with the uh, government being corrupt. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, it's pretty good stuff. Like, I think one of the things that makes it stand out more to me and uh, compared to the other one is probably the characters. It's like so many awesome characters. Yeah. Like, um, of course, uh, Greed and Lean, they're like my favorite characters. And I like um, Armstrong's older sister, too. She's hilarious. And she's so serious. Yeah. Uh... And then, of course, like I mentioned about the uh, homunculi, they're like, there are several differences. Yeah. Like, um, sloth is actually, like, big and lumbering like sloth should be. Yeah. Instead of some woman who's mostly water. Um, <laughs> wrath is different. Wrath is, that's a spoiler, so I won't, like, reveal that, but wrath is a beast. <laughs> um, pride is a beast within his own right. Uh, yeah, it's pretty, it's good stuff. It's good stuff. That is like a series that I would highly recommend you watch. Yeah. Or read. <laughs> Daddy, Daddy's hurting. <laughs> oh, yeah, Lord. Because, that's because like a freaky meme on like, a meme on like the internet, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, if, I, uh, if I had a D recommended series, it would be Berserk, okay? It's not good. I didn't, I didn't let you guys, dude, it's, dude, it's, it's, <laughs> it's, 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 but the thing is that it's it takes you for a ride. Come take it for a ride. Yeah, but it, no, it, it it it's literally 
it's confusing. I know we're not doing a review of Berserk, but yeah, let me give a review of Berserk. Okay, it takes you for a ride because okay, the first, here's how Berserk is. It starts you off in the future of the series, so it'd be like, you know, if you're watching Naruto or Dragon Ball Z, if it starts you off where Goku is like, let's say he's looking for Boo, Majin Buu, or he's like, you know, let's say as soon as Dragon Ball Z starts, it shows Goku training in the hyperbolic time chamber, and he's like talking about how he's going to fight Boo, and you're just like, what? Like, what the heck is going on? Yeah. Like, you don't know anything. In the next episode, they bring you back to where Raditz is and the farmer and everything like that. So you're just like, what? Yeah, like, crazy. where am I? And so, yeah, so, okay, so pretty much, the story of Berserk is about this guy. His name is Guts or Gats, depending on if you read the anime or manga. And so he's going along, and then he um, he like beating people with his sword. He's got a huge Ichigo like sword, and so he beats people with it. And so he goes to a town where there's some like I want to say there's like a mercenary guild that's like kind of ravaging the village. And so one of the guys is, like, bragging about how he's never lost before. And so Guts just goes up and fights him, and he fights so recklessly, and he literally gambles on a move, and he, like, just barely beats the guy. He, like, risks his life. And then there's this guy, Griffith, that sees what he did. He's, like, the leader of that mercenary guild, and he becomes impressed. And his eyes get, like, wide. Oh, yeah. His... Oh, yeah, I have to give you guys some backstory of why I started Berserk. There was, like, two or three reasons I started it. One is because I, when I looked at Attack on Titan, I saw that the guy that wrote Attack on Titan and the guy that wrote Claymore both said that Berserk was some of their inspiration for writing manga. And so I was like, okay. And then also, I don't know if anybody's heard of the game Dark Souls. Have you guys heard of that? Yep. Well, the guys that did Dark Souls said they were like hugely inspired by the manga Berserk. And so I was like, okay. And then... IGN just did, recently did a top 10 ba anime bad guys of all time, and, like, in their fourth spot slot, they put Griffiths from Berserk. So I was like, okay, I keep hearing about this anime size manga, so I was like, I might as well give it a shot. I was like, it's only got 25 episodes. The manga goes on for much longer, so I was like, I can at least watch the, the anime and see what I think about it. So... I'm watching this, so that's why I decided to watch the anime. So immediately I see that this guy, that they say is like one of the evilest anime bad guys of all time. They say he's like, not only one of the evilest anime bad guys of all time, but maybe it's all media. And so I'm just like, dude, he must be a pretty bad guy if you're going to stay of all media. And so I'm just like, okay, what's this guy going to do? And so... We see that, and his name is Griffith, by the way. And so he runs this guild called Band of the Hawk. And so in the next, like, in the next episode or whatever, we see that um, Guts is, like, trying to get away. And, like, the Band of the Hawk is right there, and they see him. And so one of the guys, he's, like, your typical anime bully type guy. He wants to pick a fight. So they send some guys after him, and Guts, like, sl slays them down. And so this guy gets really mad. He's like, it's our comrades. And there's a girl in the group named Casca. And so she says to Griffith, she's like, Griffith, that guy's back. He's, like, causing trouble. And so Griffith just was like, yeah, Casca, go take care of it. And so Casca ends up fighting him, and he beats her pretty good. Like, he doesn't, like, hurt her, but, you know, he's winning the fight. Until he's about to get someone else, and Griffith comes in. So Griffith wants to fight um, Guts. So then when Griffith is fighting him, Griffith is just, like, tearing him up. He's, like, schooling him so bad. Like, Gus can't even touch him. And afterwards, well, I'm not really even giving y'all reviews, but I'm giving y'all a story. So I'm trying, to give you more of a, I'm trying to give you more of a review. Well, what happened, long story short, Griffith beats Guts. And once he beats him, he, like, makes him become part of their guild. So he says, you have to be part of our mercenary group. And so throughout this series, we see um, Guts is, like, helping the group. And so Gus finally has a family. But then Griffith also has this necklace. And the necklace says that he's gonna. The, he was given the necklace and told he was gonna be a king. But then later on in the story, you find out like Guts fights this huge monster that nobody can stop, and he's about to kill Guts and Griffith. And then once the monster's about to kill Griffith, he sees the necklace and he just starts laughing like he has this evil laugh, like he's about to kill him. You're like what's going on? And he's, he looks at Guts. He's just like, 
you think this man to be your friend? He was like, well, hear my advice. In a year's time, when this man's dreams start crashing down, like, the whole world will be, like, in his dark, like, will go and enter into darkness. And you're just like, what in the world? <laughs> and, like, yeah, but all I'm going to say is that Berserk is, like, really weird because it's really two different stories. Like, the first 23 episodes is one story, mm-hmm. and then once you hit episode 24, oh, my goodness. Let's just say if you could put any bad, like, episode from Attack on Titan and, like, put the whole, every single bad episode all in two episodes, it's really one of the craziest two ending episodes I've ever seen in, like, anything. It's it's berserk. Let's just say that that show should be called episode 24 and 25 okay. instead of called berserk. Hey, is it cool if I go ahead and add Jambi to the call? Yeah, you can add him. So are we going to go to the Smash Bros. thing, too, when he's on I mean, here? I can finish up while I'm adding him. Yeah, so, I mean, it it was really crazy. And, like like I said, that anime is just... Like, I will say, be warned. That it is severely, severely graphic. Like, sure. it's not very graphic at all until What's you up, get to 24 and 25. What's up, guys? What's up? What's up, Jamie? What's up? What's up? How's it going, guys? Good morning. <laughs> 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 You're in the same time zone, right? Uh, I think so. It's quarter to eleven. Yeah. Yeah. Good stuff. <laughs> we have to we have to do it early at this specific time because these guys are well. We're all on different pages and all that. Ah, uh, it's all good. Blue fire selling drugs and all that. <laughs> okay. Yep, yep. Yep. Pharmacy, pharmacy. Okay, that kind of drugs. <laughs> uh, anyway, did you did you have anything to say to finish that up there, Trey? The oh, I would just say that if you're gonna watch Berserk, be warned. Be and do not read the manga unless you want to be scarred. And the thing is, I usually don't like spoilers, but once you, I was like watching this on YouTube. Um, shout out to YouTube. But yeah, they were like everybody in the comments was like, <laughs> turn back. They're like, if you can't stand it, turn back now. I was just like, dude, what in the world? I went to the manga and everybody just like turned back, turned back now. The worst is coming. And I was just like, dude, this is insane. So I like did it. I didn't, I was like, okay. They were like, don't watch it. She's like, they're like, the worst thing ever happened. So I was like, okay, I'm not going to watch or read it. And so I like just sat there for like two hours, like not reading. I was like, no, I got to watch it. I got to watch it. After I watched it, I was like, I should have turned back. Should have turned back. Oh, boy. All right. With that being said, uh, we're going we're welcoming our new guest here, Jambi Sun, um, and we're I'm, I was bringing him on now because we're about to head into uh, Jambi. I figured uh, you'd like to do the Smash Bros. stuff with us. Um, sure, that. sure. Is that cool? That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> so what we usually do is just go through the Miiverse photos or whatever it is, as you know. Um, and we're starting with the uh, update that's on the, on the 30th. Yeah, the Galaga one. Um, and Sakurai says, Pick of the day, if you get caught in the boss Galaga's items tra- tractor beam, it will carry you away to the top of the screen. You can shoot it down, but it won't join you in battle for double the firepower. All right. Oh. Anything to say about that? I would say they should put high. Donkey in there. What's that? <laughs> Why did it have to be Donkey Kong? Look at the villagers. They look like Nana and Popo right there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they had the little dance going on. Right. Yeah. That's a shout out to uh, um, Ice Climbers not being in the game. Yay. Yeah, I thought uh, I was yeah. wondering if uh, they not confirmed or they're just not going to be in it. I hope they're not. No, I'm just, okay. Kill, kill me. <laughs> Is anybody an Ice Climbers fan? No. Did you see that, would, uh, yeah, see that picture in the um, thing? The guy's like, has a picture of the villagers. He's like, does this look like the face of Mercy? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, the villager face is awesome. 
No, I wouldn't be surprised if there's no uh, ice climbers this time around. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, more interesting characters now. Yeah, and there hasn't been any, like, you know, v uh, virtual console games or anything. Not very much interest. See, I mean, you know, that would make... I mean, it would really make... I, I, Sounds kind of morbid to make me happy to kill off the characters, but uh, <laughs> I mean they've been in it since the first one, so I think they'll be. I, actually, in. they're only in I, I they they in May. What? They were only in the melee. Oh, only melee? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, that's right. You're right. Um, but even still, that's two times. And I would say that they, you know, I don't want to take characters out that have unique move sets. At the same time, their movesets are basically around them having infinite grabs. Yeah, I, if they bring them back, I want them to change that. Yeah, I, I don't think he's going to take them out. Sakurai's shown that he loves weird. Like, anything that's weird, and Sakurai loves. <laughs> yeah, true enough. I don't I know. Could, I could see them being, a, being an item or whatever, but... I mean, I personally wouldn't want them back, but... Yeah, and I don't know the 3DS for the 3DS be able to handle that. Well, I mean, I guess they can handle um, Rosalina and Luma, so they probably could. But yeah, yeah, hmm. I, I hope they don't come back. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna get crucified. Somebody, there's gonna be an Ice Climbers fan out there. <laughs> yep. DJ. But, yeah, I definitely agree. I definitely, you know, think like. They need to they they need to make them viable somehow without just relying on chain grabs or something if they do come back. They need to they need to change up the move set a bit or something, I don't know. And I have that ridiculous final smash. <laughs> well, oh, Ro well Rosalina's is now the worst in the game. Right? Yeah. Dude, that yeah, that sucks. That is garbage. I mean, now that we're gonna be playing an item necessarily but I mean it's still bad. That's pretty, it's true. pretty bad. <laughs> uh, it actually, like, how did you use, um, you know, Jigglypuff's Final Smash or whatever? And yeah, Brawl? oh, that was worthless. Yeah, like, what the heck was the point of that? <laughs> it was bad. I don't know if you, did you see that before, Jambi? I don't know. Um, um, don't think so, no. It's like, she just grows really big, and then, like, just... What is the easy of And, like, you can't really even, I don't even know how you die from that. <laughs> it doesn't like, like even if you touch to be, it, it, it like hits you and then she does like a brief second of like you know kind of like a rest but I mean it's super easy to avoid yeah <clears throat> but anyways those are items and nobody cares <laughs> yep, in the next screenshot we have a picture of something that nobody cares so let's go again. no 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 hey, this hey, actually hey, 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 hey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah get your Pokemon hating out of here Okay, it says, Pick of the Day, Reshiram appears on one of the stages in the 3DS version. Zekrom and Milotic will appear too. It's close enough to the launch date, so I don't have to describe the stage to you, right? The design of the stage is based off the surroundings of someone's castle. Well, yeah, this castle. castle. This is castle. What's that? This is castle. In castle from black and white. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Waluigi's and, castle. And Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm guessing since Zekrom and uh, Reshiram are in there, it would have to be in Castle since they're legendaries from uh, Black and White. But I don't know why Milotic's there because it's not a legend legendary at all. Yeah, that doesn't make sense. If yeah, anything, I agree. Shut up. I forgot Qrim, I think, is the third legendary from that series. Yeah. From that particular uh, yeah. But yeah, that should be interesting. Yeah, it looks like, it's like a rehash of that uh, spear pillar from a uh, ball. Once again, the 3DS is getting all the all the cool stages. Although I hope that I don't know. You think the Pokemon like will be, you know, stage hazards that you can't turn off? That would be yeah, like, remember uh, that annoying that Pokemon stage like and that. brawl with? Yeah. That's what. Yeah, that yeah that's what he was talking about. Oh, yeah. Oh, I hated that stage. <laughs> <laughs> that stage was terrible. And I all, all it led to was people running around in circles the whole time. And guilty. I'm guilty. But, yeah, that stage is stupid. 
Yeah, pretty much you just run around till your opponent got hit by something that I'm doing. Or walked off because of the stage flipping or the control being inverted or something. Yeah. <laughs> that stage is stupid. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Anything else to say about that? Nope, okay. Moving on. Okay. Uh, I mean, it's the obligatory Pokemon stage. That's about it. <laughs> All right, and then we have Angry Bird Smash Bros. What's up with this bomb? This looks like the stadium for the home run contest, but there's no bat. Once you touch the bomb, it begins the countdown. Give it enough damage and launch it at the right time. Then once the bomb's countdown hits zero, and then he has another picture, it goes boom. Not only will blast destroy targets, but it'll also cause a chain reaction by using shattered walls and bomb blocks, all of which contributes to you getting a high score. This is a new activity that combines the concepts of target smash and home run contest. It's called target blast. Your final score is the total you rack up over two rounds. Of course, your target blast scores contribute to your global smash power too. This makes me want to cry because I hate Angry Birds and I hate this type of thing. But I want to get my global smash power up, so I'm going to have to do this. <laughs> so it makes me so mad. I'm like, oh, why? Oh my goodness. This is going to be another one of those things where you have to pick Yoshi and short hop and do his down A so you can like build it up. Yeah. But I'm wondering, would it even be to your advantage to like, people are probably going to find like the sweet spot that you need to hit so that it'll like, you know, not go all the way, but it'll like, you know, just hit that sweet spot that knocks everything it needs to. Yeah. I mean, so if you hit it, will it move like the sandbag did in the home run contest? Or That's what I'm wondering it? too. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Did they, so, correct me if I'm wrong, they said something like, to some degree, the matches on For Glory will be, like, matched up according to skill. Right? Mm-hmm. Didn't they say that at some point? Well, I think it's like yeah. your global smash power and skill, maybe. What were you going to say? Know. Yeah, yeah. And what were you going to say, Jambi? Oh, yeah, I was just going to say that's what I heard, yeah. That's what I remember. So, but if it's global smash, is it global smash power that they're basing that on, or is it like your actual for glory record, or what? I think it's going to be a mixture of both. So, you know, it's like, you know, if your global smash power is high, you're not even going to fight someone that's really low. And then there's probably rankings within similar global smash powers, I'm guessing. But it's all freaking, like, invisible, so you can't even, I don't know. Yeah, Hmm. but I mean, you're still going to know, I feel like. Like, you know, you're going to know that this guy is good, whereas if you're fighting somebody that's trash, you're still going to know. I know, but, like, what I'm afraid of is, like, when you're, like, you're, say you're me, and you don't want to do, well, I'm going to do a lot of this stuff, but you don't want to do, like, everything, like, on these little side modes and stuff like that and get the highest possible scores and all that stuff. Even though, I mean, I like to do that stuff, but I'm not going to spend forever on it. I'd rather play online, you know. But I, don't I think you did. I think you did that just so that we would do it. You know, like the event mode in um, Injustice, where I didn't even bother with that. I was like, "This is dumb. I'm not doing it." I think it's like a way to like force people to do it. Well, I did it to get this Flash costume. The you talking about the? Did you say the Star Labs thing? Yeah, and Vest can't take it all away. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> No, but that's what I'm saying, though. Like, dude, what if there is, like, people out there that are pretty good, like, you know, as far as just, like, straight up fighting, but they don't have, like, the global smash power. I don't know. Well, I think it's the best way because, okay, if you think about it, if you get your account banned, like in Justice, for example, you can just make 20 more and you can just fight. But if you get your account banned in Smash Bros, now you're pretty much stuck because you have to get your global smash power up all over again. Mm, so, that's good. That's so true. So you're gonna get banned, and you're gonna like you're gonna have to pretty much put in work just to like, you know, get back up there all the time. Otherwise, you're gonna be starting with a zero global smash power. You know, however it works, and then so, you're gonna have to like work your way up. I'm sorry, DJ and Matt. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, it really helps against people like Matt. You know, they can't just make a billion accounts and keep fighting you because if you get that account banned, you're you're pretty much you know out of luck. Yeah, that's a pretty good uh, deterrent for uh, rage quitting and and uh, abuse and stuff. It right? sounds like. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I guess it just means I'll have to do all that stuff before I get online. 
<laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I, yeah. It just makes me wonder about what the weight is, as far as like how much is a record online worth as part uh, to the global smash power, as opposed to like you know completing something in the offline mode or I don't know. I don't know. But I guess I'll I, I think it'll be both. You know, it's like man, I can't think of a game right now, but you know, it's like one of those games where you have to like fight to get into a league, and then once you're in the league, you have to work your way all the way back up again, type mm -hmm. thing. You know what I mean? Yeah, like a like a echelon, like kind of like a different like la rungs on the ladder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I know what you mean. I think. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, but moving on, it says uh, next one says pick of the day in this Smash Bros. installment. This little guy is also making an appearance. I da 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 don't know his name, but he's the prince of the Sable Kingdom. <laughs> He's from the game Game Boy game Karu no Tamini Kana Wanaru. Translated the as for you. <laughs> translated as yeah. the frog for whom the bell tolls, which was only released in Japan. Here's the trophy for, of the Sable Prince. He transforms into a snake or a frog and unloads multiple attacks on an opponent he, on any opponent he catches. Keep attacking your your foes when they're trapped in this in his dust cloud. So he's an assist trophy. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. well, well, I, I, an I opinion, think... really, because I haven't even heard of this guy or the game. I saw well, some I people were real excited about him, though. I have to admit that I did look online after he told me that, and I was looking at LP for a game, and it actually, like, a lot of the stuff they did in that game. Like, they transported a lot of it to Link's Awakening, the one on Game Boy. Mm -hmm. And, like, the game looks pretty solid. I don't know why it didn't make an American release. Like, maybe it was just because of when it was put out. But, I mean, there's nothing about it that's, that looked extremely Japan. But, I mean, yeah, yeah it could have been over in America. USA. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know this game, Jambi? No, i never heard of it. Yeah. Never heard of it. I guess Sakurai hasn't even heard of it, so... Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. That's, that was hilarious. Hey, yeah, the game had good humor, too, for just from, like, looking at it. I mean, it had, like, the Pokemon thing, too, where you had a rival, and he keeps insulting you. Like, smell you later! Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Blue Fire's dog again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. All right. <laughs> so, last one. Pick of the day. Look at these three radiant pieces. Yep, you guessed it. It's another combinable item like the Dragoon, the Daybreak. And it says, this is what it looks like when all three parts are combined together. So our power is combined. How powerful will it, its beam blast be? FYI, you can fire shooting items while move, moving backward and forward. Didn't know that. Thanks, Sakurai. Change direction by flicking mm -hmm. the control stick or circle pad toward the back of the fighter. Yep. Okay. It looks like a mixture of... What was that gun in Smash Bros. where you could, like, shoot those annoying pellets so you could charge it up for the big annoying pellet? Yeah, uh, the scope. Okay. Super Star 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 Star. Yeah, it looks like a mixture of that and the dragoon. So, and it look, is this another like pit item? Yeah, like, it's a Kid, Kid Icarus. Yeah, dude, what is up with Sakurai? And like, dude, Kid Icarus is not a top tier game. Let's, I mean, a top tier Nintendo franchise. How does this game get more items than <laughs> than Donkey Kong? <laughs> I think it's just because of his uh, 3DS release. Because of that, I think it's got like a lot of ground swell. No. Oh, it's it's Sakurai and his favoritism again. I'm surprised we don't have like ten Kid Icarus characters in here already. Yeah, if you were making it, we'd have ten Donkey Kong. We'd have the whole Donkey Kong family in there. Here we here we, here we go. And finally here. <laughs> yep. Uh, yeah. Okay. Tropical Freeze sales aren't that well. I'm yeah, doing that well either. Okay. So. No, Tropical Freeze is legit. It is. You not heard that soundtrack? Oh my goodness! Yes, I've heard it. You, you tell me, tell me every day. 
Do you not know who the King of Kong is? All right, we're talking about the Daybreak, okay? Not Cranky and Family, okay? <laughs> I don't need any of that. Dixie for Smash confirms. Okay. Oh, yeah. my goodness. Jeez. <laughs> I don't know why we do this. Oh, all right, so I guess this one's a little different, though, because you don't, like, get the full screen thing, you know, like how you did the Dragoon pieces, and then you get, like, a full screen shot. No, you can right. aim it so right. I mean, is it, can you only use it once, or is it, you can use it multiple times? I bet you can only use it once. It says, how powerful will the beam blast be, like, you know, uh, sarcastically? I bet it'll, like, cover, like, the whole screen or something dumb. It, yeah, it's probably going to look similar to, like, Samus's final smash. Yeah. I mean, this is a stupid item all to get it with, like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. I wonder if you have, like, a reflector, or like, I mean, or, like, a Pokemon that, like, protects you, like, the Franklin badge or something. Like, will it, will you not get hurt? Um, I don't know. Or will it be too powerful? Or will it be just an item that we're not playing with anyways? <laughs> or how powerful will that blast be? Okay. Although, I'm, I'm down for some Master Ball battles. So you want to be a Master? <laughs> yes. Pokemon. Um, okay, that's that's it on that. But, um, I wanted to move into talking about the Hyrule Warriors Direct. Did y'all all see that? Yep. Yes. Yep. What did y'all think? Got my interest. Yeah, it's a lot better than I thought it was going to be. Yeah. And I mean, I thought it was alright, but it looks way better, and it seems way better than I thought it was. I just like the fact that it's, um... Got a little bit of the Zelda gameplay in it. Yeah. Like the Zelda goes still. Do I? Nothing. What? Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, the fact that you get to fight like some of the bosses and stuff from the Legend of Zelda series, and then you can like actually travel around and use the items and like uh, the treasure chest and like makes it really cool. Yeah, I thought it was pretty awesome, dude. I'm I'm freaking like emo now though because I I like want to buy that so bad but I want to buy like Smash and all the all the Smash stuff too this fall <clears throat> your poor wallets this this holiday season <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna be broke <laughs> but yeah actually and in the stream chat on Twitch <laughs> uh me, me and Trey were both in there, and, like, everybody was going crazy about Smash Reveal, and I was doing that, too, on, on Miiverse and stuff. And I thought they would, like, at least, like, do a Ganon, you know, reveal for Smash or something at the end, maybe Girahim or somebody. But then they didn't hey. do anything, and everybody was going crazy. They were like, Riot! <laughs> <laughs> I think they probably felt that if they did that, it would have sort of undercut uh, Hollow Warriors. Yeah. Yeah, it would have been cool, but it would have sort of like stole some of uh, Hot Wars, uh, Warriors Thunder. But that game <laughs> that would be like reveal, someone... though. Yeah, that was pretty happy. Dude, that needs to be an alt costume. <sighs> Alternate costume in Smash. Please. And then some of the, some of the DLC look pretty cool, too. Yeah. Mm. So wouldn't mind the uh, Skyward Sword DLC. We're just waiting on that Mario Kart DLC. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> I want that Mercedes. <laughs> <laughs> Don't we all? Give me the Lambo. All right. I, yeah. yeah, I think uh, that'll probably come out though when uh, Amiibos come out and all that. Hmm. Yeah, yeah that would have forever. What's that? The Amiibos, man. I mean, when does that come out again? In the holiday sometime. Oh man. Yeah. So it'll probably, I think they'll probably, you know, attach some DLC to that, those or something, I don't know. Mm. I don't know, what do you guys think? Mm. I still don't even really know what the Amiibos do. <laughs> yeah, I think everybody's a little confused. <laughs> I think they're like Pokemon, they're like real life Pokemon where you get, or like the, the what are those things called from the Chows, yeah. You know, remember that Chow thing where you could do a Sonic Adventure 2 battle where you can like make them fight and race? 
Yeah. That's what amiibos are to me. <laughs> <laughs> they need to give me Donkey Kong, and then I'm just going to train Donkey Kong to be a beast, and he's just going to go ham. Yeah, I know what they do in Smash. I know they like, you know, they like, they're like pretty much your own AI that you can make however strong you want. Mm. But I, I don't know what they do in other games yet. But, well, I think I saw somewhere that the ones that are coming out with Smash are like Smash specific ones. Yeah, and yeah. They'll no, make more that are like you know for the others. Well, they're modeled after Smash, but I think they'll actually interact with other games too. Yeah, but I think you said these ones specifically are like more Smash oriented, so that they'll have like more data for Smash, but they'll just interact with them. You know, kind of like yeah, they have. I like think a, it was in Melee where you had a memory card. If you played like Mario Sunshine, it would have like a Mario Sunshine trophy or something. Yeah. Mm. No, yeah, it said like the big piece of it. It was like it, it, he showed it with like he was like held up his fingers when he was talking about it, and he showed he like did like a big you know gap for like this is how much memory will be taken up by Smash Bros. and this is for other games, and it was like a little bit you know. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. So you're yeah you're right about that. Yeah. Cool. Well, even even if they did nothing, and it was just a a Greninja or a Little Mac statue, I'm buying it anyways. Okay, so. Doesn't matter. I want to say in Hyrule Warriors, the, with Seek, how awesome was it that she plays like every Ocarina of Time song? She's like playing like ding 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 ding. <laughs> and how and long all those will it take, crazy songs? <laughs> how long will it take to unlock everything in that game? Good lord. Yeah, and I like how they even did the little thing. I don't know if you guys remember, but when you have to play Zelda's Lullaby. For like, what's his name, Durin now or whatever? Durin and I. Yeah, we need to play her lullaby. In Ocarina of Time, he starts doing that crazy dance. Yeah, I yeah. even put that dance in the game. Yeah. <laughs> I was just laughing at that. Yeah, yeah I, just, I thought that was funny. <laughs> Trey's going to be just uploading like uh, selfies with him dancing. <laughs> <laughs> uh. I can see it. Yep. Yeah, I got to admit, I wasn't very interested in this ga- in that game. Right. Up until last night, and then yeah, it got my attention. I like the all the new all the characters' move sets. I found really interesting. I think, yeah. and the strategy and the even that uh, uh, that side game that they they put in. Yeah, yeah, where it's like um, you have to fulfill certain requirements to keep progressing. That was pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. It looked like there was a lot more, a few more characters that they didn't um, unveil. Yeah, they need to unveil Tingle. They need to unveil Tingle. Tingle. Yeah, I gotta say that Tingle is almost a confirmed lock. If you're gonna put in the girl, the Agatha girl from Skyward, uh, from Twilight Princess. Yeah. I don't know what he's gonna do, but Tingle has to be in there. What about Top tier Tingle? <laughs> <laughs> what about Lana though? Yeah, filler character. No, she's awesome. Dude, Smash Bros. confirms Smash Bros. character. Oh, and I also want to say that, spoilers, but Garam is just Gandor's sword, so he should not get a spot. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, whatever. He's no, I mean, they put, they put Fi in there, so I guess it's not that surprising they put him in there, too. Oh, yeah, I hate Fi. Does anybody even like her? No, oh, dude. good lord. She's oh. so annoying. Rubies, rubies, hey, this is a ruby. <laughs> Oh, good gracious. <laughs> you sound like Beecher from Muppets. <laughs> I hope they put in uh, Midna's other form, too. Yeah, that's the form we need to see. Yes. Yeah. Midna's form <laughs> confirmed for Smash. <laughs> oh, yeah, I forgot. Blue Fire hasn't finished that game, so he didn't know. Oh, I'll beat that one. I beat it. <laughs> Dude, I, I think I, I beat, beat it, it for you. <laughs> no, I beat it. I beat it. <laughs> Because after seeing the freaking fishing hook thing, I beat it. It took me like three years to finally go back and finish it, but I beat it. Yeah, yeah. I just have to work on Skyward Sword. Um, Skyward Sword, I don't even know. It's like the ending isn't, isn't even that good either for Skyward Sword. I would say like, I know I don't want to turn this into a Skyward Sword rant, but okay, let me just stop. I, I'll rant, okay? <laughs> I'll rant. Too short, Rand. Yeah. Okay, yeah. 
Okay, so Skyward Sword, <laughs> they have the awesome cut scene, the, you know, middle of the thing. Like, I don't want to spoil it for you guys that haven't finished it yet, but, you know, Impa was doing work in, like, the middle of the story. And then the whole twist where... Uh, Jamie, have you finished that game? Uh, no, I, I, you can spoil it for me. I wasn't really okay, in Okay, yeah, but the old lady turns the... Oh, I don't know if you guys remember the old lady that was just sitting there yeah. like, swinging her hair. Like, that turns out to be Impa because she, like, saved you from the past and then came and protected it. So she stayed there the whole time, so she became old. Or something like that. I don't know. It's confusing. Yeah, so, yeah, Impa did work. The cutscenes were really good, and Zelda got captured again. Surprise, surprise. And then you save her, and then she gets recaptured. And then, yeah, it was like, but the ending was just bad. It was like, you know, after all the cutscenes we had seen earlier in that game, it was like the ending cutscene was just like, oh, you saved the day. Oh, you're awesome. Yeah, it's over. Mm. It was like, ah. Yeah. Yeah, boy. Uh, Twilight, but like they said, there's an old Zelda formula that the newest Zelda that comes out, everybody hates. But by the time the newer Zelda comes out, everybody loves the the one before. It happened with Majora's Mask, happened with Wind Waker, and it happened with Twilight Princess. <coughs> so we'll see with Skyward Sword. Yeah. Yeah, I, I could never really get into it. I don't know why. I think I just I kept wanting it to be Skies of Arcadia. I think. <laughs> uh, which which game is that? Is it old? Uh, it was a Dreamcast RPG that they put out on GameCube. Oh and, yeah, I know what you're talking about. And it was like you leveled up your characters and you leveled up your like your air pirate ships and it was really, really uh awesome. <laughs> and really long. It was like a hundred hour game or something like that. But yeah. uh it was one of my favorite games. Flying around the skies and all that good stuff. Oh, Skyward Sword definitely wasn't that. Like the problem with Skyward Sword is that the dungeons were awesome in that game. But the pre-dungeons, which was like the levels, yeah. were terrible. They're like long drag fests. Oh my! Like mm. The worst part was when you had to go to the desert world. I wouldn't cry just and right now. And you had to go back to like all the dungeons over again. Yeah, but no, the desert one was the worst. It was like the uh, where you had to like find one. the generators. Why? Yeah. Oh my man, I wanted to cry so bad because it, it wasn't hard, but it was just like. Yeah, it was like a version of the hook shot too, so it took forever. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, I want to cry. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm glad you had your rant. <laughs> oh, another thing I was gonna say. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that this game, no, it's about Hyrule Warriors, so it's on topic. But it's like this game is just like a mixture of the three. So like, you know, it's like they're really like going all out for these three of them. Uh, Skyward Sword, Twilight Princess, and Ocarina of Time. Mm -hmm. I just thought that was pretty interesting, I guess. Yeah, just don't make me find the pieces and I'll be alright. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that's the one good thing about this game. There's no, um, what should we call it, Triforce Quest. Yeah. Oh, boy. Yeah, um... Okay. Cool. Well, I wanted to give it over to Jambi for a minute um, because I was asking him about how to stream because I'm interested in streaming some especially some Smash 4 when that comes out so mm -hmm. Jambi I, I wanted to ask how how you stream on the on the Wii U and like what's the easiest <laughs> easiest and cheapest way possible if, if there is a way um, well my setup uh -huh. Is there's no like real cheap cheap way to do it? Yeah. But um, I've got an okay PC. Um, it's kind of old, but I got an, an okay processor. It's not an i7 or anything, but um, I think I have an i5 processor or something like that. Yeah. Uh, and it won't let me like I think 720p is as high as I can stream, and it sometimes still gives me problems. But anyway, um, I have. My setup is I've got my Wii U plugged into a splitter that goes into my PC. Okay. And I have I have a capture card that I bought. Uh, Avermedia... Uh, let me see. Avermedia something <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that, I yeah. bought, that I bought a couple years ago. So there's probably better ones out there now. Um, 
and then I have the splitter going into my TV. And um, I use what I use a X. Pardon me. Oh, were you just about to say that? <laughs> what kind of splitter? Or what? Uh, just an uh, HDMI splitter. Okay, just any. Okay. And uh, so yeah, so I've got the HDMI going into my capture card on my PC, and then split into my TV. It does give you a little bit of input lag, just a little bit. So, okay. that, so whenever I do it, like whenever I play Injustice or whatever, it kind of sucks. <laughs> Um, that's pretty much my setup. I think the capture card cost me 150 bucks, maybe 200 bucks. Yeah. But I think they're cheap, probably cheaper now. Um. Yeah, I know yes. they always have like, say, like you'll be watching like a uh, you know FGC stream or something, and they always have like those uh, codes for them and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, and then. On my PC, I've got I use uh, X Split, um, but that's expensive. Like there's other programs you can use, capture programs, and it just basically like you put in your Twitch information and um, and it broadcasts it for you. Yeah. Um, and your cap. Uh, this is where it gets complicated. <laughs> <laughs> your uh, your capture card also has software so that when you uh, it, it'll show you what your you know what it's capturing, and then in XSplit you have to take that Im put that image into XSplit, and then you broad you're broadcasting that. If that makes any sense. Yeah. Um. So it's it, and it's a lot of try. It took me a lot of trial and error to get it to work properly. Do you know uh, if it's possible to like you know since since Smash uh will be coming first for the 3DS? Do you know if it's possible to stream uh <coughs> that? Uh, it is, um, but unfortunately, this is where it gets more expensive. There is a new, they just came out with uh, a 3DS uh, capture thing. I think you can even buy, like, a little package where it gives you, like, you get, like, a, a 3DS and the actual capture software and hardware. Right. Um, but the hardware itself without the 3DS is about $200. Damn. Yeah, it's expensive. And... Uh, uh, maybe a, a couple months ago or a year ago, people were still having problems. Like the way that it was is you had to capture the video with a USB and capture the audio with a like straight headphone jack. Yeah. And then once you got that into your computer, you'd have to sync that up, and it was it was a big problem. But I think they've they've uh, upgraded it so you don't have to do that anymore. But it's still pretty expensive. Yeah. Uh, and I don't really know where to get one. <laughs> probably yeah. eBay. Uh, probably eBay or something like that. eBay is a dangerous place. <laughs> yeah, it's you cold, never know. Cold world. Yeah. <laughs> um, I was gonna say, uh, do you think like we we you will ever like they'll ever give us like you know a streaming app or something for it? Uh, no, it's not powerful enough. Oh, you don't you don't think so? That's no, it's like the, I, I know Xbox One and uh, <coughs> excuse me and PS4 are doing it, but they got the processing power for it. It takes a lot of processing power to to stream at a decent quality. Yeah. Um, like even my computer, it's it's pretty it's pretty good, but it it's it it struggles. Yeah. Well, darn it! I probably had to buy myself a better computer then to do it. Yeah, um, I was thinking either if I wanted to, I have a Mac, so. Well, depending on depending on what you guys got for for computer wise, you can always stream like a lower quality. Like I'm sure that like you could do like a 480p or something like that. Yeah. Uh, which is you know it's respectable, it's watchable. Yeah, I just wanted to be able to do it where I mean I know you'll you'll be streaming some, Jamie. Uh, I just want to do it where say you you know you weren't on time. Like me and uh, these guys and whoever else could hop on Smash and, and stream it and stuff. Yeah. And and talk to everybody while we're doing it and all that. So it would just be fun. Yeah, that that'd be pretty awesome. Yeah. But of course, may you know maybe if I if I don't end up getting that stuff, then we could just hop on your stream sometime or like do a thing like we did with E3 or Skype call and just do it like that or something. Yeah, that'd, that'd be cool, too. That would work. Yeah. That would be pretty awesome. Be shenanigans. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Because I know Blue Fire is going to join join us with Smash. Uh, yeah, probably. I'll actually do that. <laughs> I'll, pro- I'll probably be a punching punching bag in that game for a long time. No, it's okay. You and you and Blue Fire can fight to one side. Yeah. <laughs> and I'll chase Trey around the screen. <laughs> Is all he likes to do when we, you know, you play uh, four for all, four free for alls, is just run away the whole time and like shoot whatever projectile he has. Oh, he just waits, so waits, and waits, and waits. Yeah, he'll wait till the very end. It does not matter. Like it I have, I have my moments. Yeah, and then Blue Fire likes to like, he likes to wait until you're not looking and try and catch you with like one of those, you know, Oko moves like the. Uh, Luigi uppercut or something. Well, one of my when I used to play melee. One of my friends used to do that. He'd hang out and just wait while the group settled things. And I, I'd never let him do it. I always go chase him, try to chase him down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Trey will Trey will do that for sure. And he'll he'll also just troll if he's like dead. He'll just you know sit around and taunt troll. Once he gets Especially if it's on like a, a large field where you can't really like he can like run away and do it at the other end of the field. <laughs> the freaking uh, thing is like New Park City and Brawl. So we can go to the bull pop and town it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that stuff just got awful. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and that's why we only play on Final Destination. <laughs> oh my goodness. Ugh. Yeah. Anyways. Uh, I have no recollection of any of this, but it sounds like a good story. <laughs> 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 oh yeah, so without with uh with the no smash reveal last night and isn't um Japan getting Japan's Japan. getting smash in like s- September sometime. So when the heck are they going to do their last like trailer that Sakurai was talking about? Like when I mean what's left? We just got like August and a little bit of September. The, the only one that understands Soccer Troll is Soccer Troll. <laughs> he he does his own thing. He's like, oh, you guys figured out my pattern? Well, guess what? Now there is no pattern. Yeah. I'm not going to release it when I was originally going to release it. You know, he's such a troll. Like, like, what, like what's wrong with that guy? <laughs> he's so weird. <laughs> like, the whole Crom thing, does he think people aren't going to get mad or like, you even like the Rayman thing, like, why even show us that <laughs> oh, in the pick of the day? Oh, shoot, I forgot to talk about that. So did y'all, like, hear about these people that think that uh, Rayman is, is real now? Like, Rayman's a real thing? Like, he's, like, in the end of game because of the Canada Nintendo rep? Yeah, I heard that, and then they, they quickly uh, debunked that. Nintendo made a statement saying that, wait a second, no, they, our rep doesn't know what he's talking about, and uh, he's just an assist trophy or, or something. Yeah, I, w- I also want to say that Rayman doesn't even have real arms, so I don't even think he's going to be really in the game, so <coughs> he has no chance. Oh, my goodness. I mean, what would he even do? What would his moves to even be? <laughs> I don't know. Because he, he has that helicopter, you know he has a helicopter floaty thing, but Dixie already has that, so how's he going to get in if Dixie's already in? Yeah. Yeah, yeah but I mean, um, that's only if they confirm Dixie. Well, <laughs> Dixie's already in. <laughs> is she? How drop is it? Yeah, the, guys, the, the release date for 3DS version for Japan is September 13th. I think. Is Are you serious? That's what it says here. Okay, wait. This might be a bad website. Hang on. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't also say like warning. I'm trying to look it up, but... Oh, that sounds right. Yeah, it says September 13th. That means Sakurai's going to have to put that means, some work. That means on September 13th, we will know every character in the game because it'll be on the internet and I'm not going to be able to hide my eyes. Okay. <laughs> like, Cover the eyes. Yeah, like so they have to do uh, the last trailer before then. So that's do you like. Think you, do you think you could troll and like put one out like the day before or something like that, or the no. day of? <laughs> yeah, what's the point then? I'm gonna find out tomorrow. <laughs> nah. I don't know, man. I mean, he could just do it for trolling his sake, you know. Okay, I don't need I don't need the troll though. I don't want it. I don't want none of that crap. 
I mean, he still has, but I'm still going on my thing that he's going to put in all villain trailer. Because we haven't gotten, like, any villains at right. this point. I'm calling next is, we were saying the Metroid anniversary's coming up. I'm calling Ridley last reveal with some villains in that trailer. Yeah, you're going to have to put out Wario, Ganon, um, Meta Knight. Hopefully, dude, he should put Meta Knight last. Be like, oh, you like you like, you like like the wind button? You like releasing the bats and, like, jump to you all the time? Well, no. I'm nerfing. You think they're going to put Ridley in the game? <laughs> I calling. think they can. I mean, he's trolled so hard. Yeah. Not, dude. <laughs> and he's waited so long to confirm it. Why? Like, otherwise, I don't know. Unless he's just that much of a jerk, which I guess he kind of is. Like, <laughs> you know, he's trolled so hard about that by just, like, not even showing him as a full boss on that stage. And just, like, yeah, just a shadow. Like, a little piece of you the see his tail. Or whatever, or tail or whatever it was. <laughs> like, dude, come on now. And he knows that that's, like, the. Like, literally the number one most requested character in the West. Yeah. Yeah, and I would just want the, I would just want the trailer to open up with, like, somebody saying, he's too big, or something like that. <laughs> or another, <laughs> he's probably serving. another robot chicken thing, <laughs> where it <laughs> yeah. does, like, the do old thing, and Sakurai spits flame at somebody or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like in E3, yeah. That would be awesome. Yeah, because everybody, I don't know. It's like that, in that, like, for that one character, everybody feels so strongly. You know, they either, like, think he's, like, never getting in, everybody's idiots for thinking that, or, like, you know, he's definitely coming in. I don't know. But he need, well, I'm calling Dixie or Cranky needs to get in. We need some more Donkey Kong representation. Donkey Kong is fine. <laughs> Dude, Donkey Kong only has two characters. He's a staple of the franchise. Dude, he's a staple of the franchise. I can only handle so many monkeys, okay? No, Donkey Kong, we need the whole crew, okay? You gotta think about this for a second. We have, no, not that I'm the plane, but we it. have like four Fire Emblem characters. Four. Yeah. We need, and technically we've had five in the game. Okay, let me look Actually, at Fire Emblem. Actually, we have four. We have five. Wait, let we? me pull up Fire Emblem Awakenings, like, sales, and let me pull up Tropical Freeze's sales. Dude, it doesn't matter. Dude, pull out. Oh, yeah, you can't really base that one on popularity. It's just the, fl- uh, the fact that Donkey Kong is part of the uh, Nintendo flagship. Okay, yeah, and, like, Donkey Kong, Kong is also yeah. a Mario Kart, so I'll also pull up Mario Kart sales. No, Donkey Kong is just one of many characters. And Donkey Kong, dude, look up Donkey Kong Country and Donkey, Donkey Kong, Kong Country is 2 in sales. There. Dude, Dixie Kong is not in Mario Kart. Dude, don't pull up Donkey Kong Country 2 sales, Donkey Kong Country, okay. Donkey Kong 64 sales. But how he long ago them. were those? But he's a staple. It doesn't matter. He has le- he's a legacy. He, um, he, should, he should have more. Okay, okay but yeah. we're arguing about him being, like, about Donkey Kong. And Donkey Kong is in the freaking game, and so is Diddy Kong. Right. But we need more representation. And another character, too. What? Mm-hmm. And Ike isn't, even a sta- Ike isn't even a staple in Fire Emblem. Oh, my goodness. Dixie's a staple. Dixie's had her own game. But Dixie is so much more <laughs> whack than Ike. No, Ike fights for his friends. <laughs> Dixie fights for life. Ike has a sword. Dixie has hair. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care about the freaking hair. Bill and Bill Cranky Kong with all the rest of the villains. <laughs> <laughs> if they did, that'd be awesome. He just gives you a lecture and they just have him sitting next to Mr. Rossetti. Yeah. And they're just going back and forth, like, He's talking K-Rule. about things. No, yeah, I don't think King K. Rool is getting in. I don't think any uh-huh. King Kong rep is getting in. Oh, they're getting in. Like any others besides this two. You said PK what? They said King K. Rool. Hmm. Oh, yeah, they're getting in. I got faith in Sakurai. Oh, is that? Is that? Yeah, he just managed. He just came up. I think he's here. Say hello. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, hey, no need to expose personal names here. Exposed. To this guy. Yeah, well, I mean, my name, my name was just exposed, wasn't it? <laughs> this is, this, he's right. He's this right. This is gonna be edited out, okay? Okay. Scratch, scratch. Yep. <laughs> What's up, everybody? <laughs> <laughs> everybody, oh podcast. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 man. Well, what, you didn't tell me what to call you, man, so I had to call you by your name. Oh, man. Yo, you, you did, though, and that implied that I was okay to call you by yours. <laughs> I didn't find nothing. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Podcast wor- uh, Fat Fast World, um, Jet Rod is on the scene and I'm here talking about. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Boy, Jet Rod? Uh, that's my name, bro. Yes. Okay. All right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, uh, Jimmy son, that's that's uh, Blue Fire's brother. <laughs> by the way, <laughs> he's awesome. Oh my goodness! Uh, indeed, indeed. Especially when I get down to pick though, and then uh, Smash Bros. It's not cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you never played with me after that one time. Yeah, you're right. I won't play with you after that one time. <laughs> <laughs> you know, rage yeah, it was like I played with him in Blue Fire one time on uh, Wi-Fi on Brawl. Well, aside from when I went to the house, but I played Wi-Fi with him one time and I beat him. Like we were playing four stocks, and I think I beat him without losing the stock, and then they never played again. Isn't that what happened? Yeah, I completely deterred him from going to play with you anymore. Yeah, especially the time you came over. That was pretty not, that wasn't legit. The lag wasn't there. <laughs> I had no handicap. It wasn't working. I think you, uh, I think you stood up and screamed some expletives or something. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Let, let's keep these uh, personal stories. So, you know, to to you, keep them all for the record. Yeah. <laughs> so oh, my we, question, hey, y'all have to tell about the great trying to story when we were playing trying to. <laughs> oh, yeah, that, that was, was awesome. <laughs> that was horrible. You and freaking Jet Rod and this just stupid. You didn't want to like keep the game. You didn't finish that game. <laughs> <laughs> Because nobody can, like, focus on the game. Mm. Freaking Trey is up there doing the freaking stanky leg with the knife. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, does anybody remember, does anybody remember Patty? <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy, we did the inside joke, Tito. <laughs> yeah. Hey, before we get there, my question is, Jet Ride, are you going to join us in playing the new Smash game? Yeah, I am. I am. I won't let um, pass. Um, uh, Discrepancy. Yeah, we're not going to let anything, you know, in the past block the future. I'm going towards Brawl. I can't wait. I want to see uh, what uh, new characters they have away. I haven't really looked too much into it, but, you know. I want a new main besides Pikachu. <laughs> hey man, Pikachu's legit. Pikachu's legit. <laughs> yeah, but you probably got to get on that and show them some new mains. But you can't show them Little Mac or Ninja. They're mine. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I saw. I actually saw a video of Little Mac though. Yep. Oh, he's mine. You can't have him. <laughs> little, Mac, little Mac looks awesome. Yep. Yeah, he does. For no, no air potential, he's pretty beasty. Well, you can have him with his, like, you know, regular trash clothes on, but I got the pink sweats, all right? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, uh, what, uh, what's her name's uh, transformation? Oh, Sheik. Yeah, I might be looking at Sheik. Oh, okay. Sheik. Hmm. So. Yeah. She got the grenades though. She got some yeah. grenades. Around. Oh boy. We'll see though. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah, well, I don't know if I, I'm still waiting on this or possibly Lucas's uh, reveal. Hey. But if not then, then I'll probably throw the Robin. What, what about Pac-Man? Yeah. I got my I'm, on, 
I'm waiting on the the best Bowser counter pick. <laughs> <laughs> It's yeah. got to be Mario, right? That's like. <laughs> yeah, if you if you're playing with Kai, you better you better have a Bowser kind of pick, cause you know you yeah. gotta be picking him. Yep. <clears throat> this guy. <laughs> yeah. Yep. So, My Bowser counter pick is gonna be Dixie. So since we're just doing some random talking, you know, Jet Rod exploded onto the scene. <laughs> we're, gonna, we're gonna answer some listener questions together here, okay? No. Is that okay? Yeah. I'm gonna for it. Okay, DJ's alter ego, Laggy, says, my, <laughs> my questions are, dot, 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 why must Lil Mac be such a hunk? Why haven't they made a Nightwing movie or show yet? And your character request for Injustice 2, you can answer all of them or choose one, doesn't matter. I would say, first of all, <laughs> DJ needs to get out of his house and meet, interact with some actual human for once. But besides <laughs> that, I would say a Nightwing movie needs to happen. But I don't know if you are any of you guys on Meverse right now. Yeah. Mm, I think that going to pick the Nightwing question. Because if you're on Meverse, <laughs> click on click on Laggy's like profile and see the first post that he made or he she made or whatever he is. You guys see the first post that he made? Yeah. Do you see it? Wait, hang on. I'm looking at. Hold on, I'm looking. I think I seen it. Oh my it. goodness. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm starting to wonder if he's like really that way or not. Cause he was like abusing Jambi with questions. <laughs> and you know, like I thought, he, I don't know if he's just a troll or if he's really. I think, whatever, I but, think it's you know, Warple Blade. Like I'm almost convinced that DJ is Warple Blade. You think so? I think so because it's they're so similar. I don't think so. No, no, I don't think so. Warple, Warple was a rage quitter. Yeah, that is one and reason why friends. I would say it's not. Do you remember they would talk on me? Was they were friends? I mean, but who knows with DJ? I mean, and Warple used to. You say stuff into the mic at me, <laughs> not very nice things. <laughs> and uh, the most I get out of DJ is giggles. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Yeah, yeah like, I, I mean, I don't know. I mean, it is, I don't know. He's the closest to the Okay, and uh, Reese, a.k.a. Egg Boy, says... I was gonna say, don't freaking talk about my character traits, but everyone know how knows how I play, so I know. Talk, he says. <laughs> he's mad. He says, talk about how there are too many female characters in the Marvel Warriors roster. Then again, yeah. there aren't many male characters in the Zelda series. I would say that's a good point, but at the same time, I say that Link is almost kind of like Batman, whereas. You're always going to have, kind of like Batman with the movies or in any show he has, that you're always going to have Batman or Link, but then you're always going to be constantly giving him a new female interest type thing. Yeah. And so that's what you get with the Zelda series. Because I'm surprised that the little, what was her name, Malin from, you know, the Cow Ranch girl from Zelda? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm almost surprised that she's not a playable character. Like, oh, here's Malin, and she could, like, throw milk and... <laughs> After yeah. that, they have to put Tingle in. If yeah, anybody yeah. doesn't do anything, he can just dance for all I care. He's got to be in there. <laughs> and, oh, boy. And, I mean, because the girl, the butt girl from Zelda was such a reach. They couldn't even put Beetle in over her. You know that weird shopkeeper, Beetle? Mm. I feel like he could have deserved a spot over her. I knew. But, yeah, I mean, that's, but they didn't, uh, Beetle's from uh, Wind Waker. Yeah, but I mean, he's also in Skyward Sword. Uh, yeah, 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 he is, he is, he is. So they could have put yeah, him in there. Uh, you got to put Groose in there. Yeah, Groose was awesome. <laughs> Groose. You got to put him in Pompadour. Smash Bros. Groose for Smash. Yeah, but I mean, I feel like, I mean, there were certain, like, female characters that had to be in the game, like Zelda, Sheik. Impa. Yeah. And maybe, like, but Fi was a reach. Yeah. The Blood Girl was a reach. Yeah. The new girl, the filler girl, was a reach. And, 
Who's the other girl that we've seen so far? Oh, Princess Yeah. 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 That was that was a reach. Mm. I mean, I'm not complaining about her, but I mean, it's still pretty weird. Mm. I mean, you could have even put the King of Red Lions in. I mean, he's been in like almost every single Zelda game. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, and I apologize to Egg Boy by the way for the way we exposed him last time. <laughs> Uh, I, said that, cool. I, I said that just means we got respect, brother. Oh yeah, <laughs> well, they could have put that. They could have put the happy oh, mask salesman in there, fake boy. What? The happy mask man from Majora's Mask. <laughs> Dude, how awesome! Happy that yeah, they could put it full new mask and goes crazy. Happy mask. He's Dude, awesome. how awesome would that have been? He puts on like the Zoro mask, or not Zoro, but you know the um, Zoro mask, <laughs> or like the. Dude, I forgot what the rock people call it again, but, you know, I put on, like, a, a Duke and Nut thing. Yeah, that would have been awesome. Yeah. All right, oh. so thanks for listening, um, everybody, to this exciting episode of TK Podcast. <laughs> so I have, have a bonus episode of uh, what I want to call, I don't know, deleted scenes or something. <laughs> Loopers, I don't know. And it'll be about as long as the podcast, if not longer. But uh, anyways, um, where can they contact you, Jambi? Uh, I have a, a social bird Twitter account. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, I also have Meverse, and that's about it. Oh, and a, and a Twitch channel. Oh, yeah, is your Twitter just Jambi, son? Yeah. Okay, everything's Jambi, son. Okay, everything's under the Jambi, son, everywhere. Everything's under the sun. All right, Mr. Blue Fire, where can they contact you? Uh, on Meverse, it's Blue Fire Crash Down, no O. And on Twitter, it's at Azure Ursus. And Jet Rod, do we do we have a contact for you, or are you just a mystery, man? Uh, dog, I'm the unlocked character, man. <laughs> <laughs> you I'm totally until until I decide that I want to, you know, involve myself in that sort of social media, we'll we'll go with unlock character. <laughs> if we get requests, if we get requests for Jet Rod to speak on certain things, maybe I'll get a Twitter account for that purpose. But until then, mm. please, anybody listen to this, please request Jet Rod. <laughs> Jet Rod speaks. <laughs> Uh, all right, Trey. Okay, 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 okay. Come closer, come closer. Okay, okay. You can find me at Rover No with Trey Fifteen. Let's get it on on me, bro. Or you can find me on Twitter. That's right, Bro No with Trey Fifteen. Get it right. All right. All right, all right. <laughs> so ridiculous. <laughs> stupid. <laughs> so stupid. All right, and you can find me. On eHarmony.com, you know, <laughs> you know, I had leather, you know, hit me up. I might give you a like, I might give you a message. Um, you can find me on uh, Christian Mingle, on Black People Meet, even though I ain't black, you know. <laughs> Yo, I'm, I'm off screen name is white as the other black. <laughs> No. <laughs> I actually do want to uh, <laughs> in the Me. bat cave or maybe in the throne room, whichever room I'm taking a beating from <laughs> Is that whitepeoplemeet.com or something? Yeah, <laughs> there's white people everywhere. You can meet them on the screen. <laughs> <laughs> you can meet them in. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Yeah, it's not a control. This is supposed to be simple. <laughs> oh my goodness, Jamie! Jamie now sees how much editing I actually do. <laughs> you got your work cut out for you today, man. Uh, and hot, mostly your fault, though. Man, don't blame me. You know what? If you want to blame me, matter of fact. You know, you can hit me up on my website. Um, it's it's um, called it's called jetrodisahater.net. You can find it under the under the page backslash I don't care backslash 
<laughs> you know, you ain't even nothing but a secret character. <laughs> <laughs> is that a YouTube channel we can catch you on, bro? <laughs> yeah, man, you can find me on any, like, I'm all over YouTube, man. Like, my name, my middle name is, um... The top, the top thrower. What? <laughs> no. No, no, no. I gotta find the middle name. Man, might, you, might, you might even find me on the Himalayas chilling with Ryu, you know? Training up there, <laughs> training, hiding from smuggles, and he's going to fly down <laughs> in his ship like bison. Track me down. He's got those robots, like, seeking me out everywhere. I think that's what smuggles bat. does. He has, like, Release robot sentinels watching me verse, you know? <laughs> Real <Really, laughs> it's a bad bitch. With smuggles talking about 1v1. Oh, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> Every time hockey says something, 1v1. <laughs> 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 yeah, at the end of this podcast, and you put it on me, bro, it's like, hey, would you want anything? He puts it as spoilers, 1v1. <laughs> yeah, is 1v1 the new disrespect? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, that's like, that's like when you, like, get your parent real mad at you, your dad real mad at you, he says, let me take you out back to the shed. That's, like, that's 1v1. <laughs> 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 Yo, it's 1v1, Nightwings. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. All right, so you can contact me at Kings underscore hockey on Twitter, and you can find me on Meverse at OP Kings Hockey. You can email us all at OP Kings Hockey. Yes, that's EB, okay? I named it after myself. OP Kings Hockey <laughs> at gmail.com. Um, and what else? Oh, and on our uh, YouTube channel, which, because of dumb Google Plus, I didn't know how to name it right, so I named it Kings Hockey Roaring Over Trey, um, because it needed the first and the last name, so I was confused, but yeah. Okay, so, that's where you can find us, and alright, we're out. Awesome. <laughs>